In this presentation, we'll be discussing Component 4 of the Systematic Design of Instruction, Writing Performance Objectives. So at this point in the process, you should have already identified the instructional goals for your unit of instruction, conducted an instructional analysis, analyzed the learners and the context, and now it's time to write the performance objectives. Performance objectives are useful because they help you create instruction that is focused on targeted behaviors. When you write your performance objectives, they should have three major components. These components include the conditions, which is a description of the tools and the resources that will be available to the learner when they actually perform the skill. The behavior, which is a description of the skill, and that would include actions or content or concepts and also the criteria which is a description of acceptable performance of the skill. Let's look at an example of how these key components play out. So for the conditions, given an analog clock, those are the resources that the learner has available, students will tell the time, that's the behavior, to the nearest minute. This is a simple example of a performance objective. Remember, this is one step in the whole process of the systematic design of instruction. In the next presentations, we'll be discussing some of the next steps in the process.